Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do some supercharging. So if you've never done this before, just go to a supercharging location near you. Left, unplug, press the button. Hold it. Yeah, sometimes you might get that where the button's not working and it won't tense it, but if you just tap your your uh, your port, then it'll open it up and you should see a blue color right here. And when it turns green, there you go. It's gonna show that it's starting to charge. We're looking here at our supercharging tips. So if you want to supercharge, make sure you find the fastest supercharger by having the three dots on your map. Or if not, you can arrive with 20% or less. That way you get the best, fastest charging speed. And, uh, oh yeah, um, try to leave a space in between cars, just because sometimes the, the stalls, they share power. So let's say if you're doing 150 kilowatts per, um, for each stall, it, it, it might be sharing. So you might, it might, if you park next to another Tesla, it'll go down up to 75 kilowatts. So right now I'm actually charging at 85 kilowatts just because I, I came in at, I think about 62%. Yeah, 63%. I came in at, yeah, like around 62%. It says 40 minutes remaining. I'm not gonna be here for too long. It's gonna probably get up to around 80 to 90% and then I'll, I'll start heading on my way. But yeah, so, those are the, the best uh, supercharging tips. You guys, if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer. All right, now we're at 90%. Cost me $5.87. And I went from 60, I think 61% to 90%, all within about less than 20 minutes. And then if I wanted to go all the way 100%, it would take me 20 more minutes. But as you can see, the, the, the wattage or the kilowatts are actually has come down. So now I'm, I'm running it at 21, which is about 80, 89 miles per hour. But in total, I've accumulated 14 kilowatt hours. And I think that should be good for my trip. So I actually stayed and charged up to close to 100%. So once you're nearing your the end of your charging cycle, you can either go to charging and unlock the charge port. Oops, clicked it. Or you can do it the old fashioned way. that back, make sure it locks, and that closes by itself. All right, ready for my trip. If this video has helped you in any way, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos.